Hello, I'm Jeff Golden. Thank you so much for joining us today on this Maverick Minute. We have a very special guest here at UNO, and that's Ms. Beth Whitted. And Beth is the Executive Vice President and Chief uh, Human Resources Officer for Union Pacific Railroad. Is that right? That Did is I get correct. that right? That's right. And uh, we were talking earlier, and you said you've been with the railroad for more than 30 years. It's true. I look much younger, but yes. You do. I mean, you must have started as just a <laughs> school child, as yeah, a toddler. toddler. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Well, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the Career Currency Program mm -hmm. today, and I know some of our uh, faculty and staff and students have heard about it. But I remember the very first time we met, which was a while ago, and we started talking about how we could jointly create a program that would help our corporations in the community, particularly in this case Union Pacific, recruit and retain the best and the brightest, uh, provide career advancement opportunities. And I know you and the team have worked really hard on that. And, uh, and, and now it's a reality, right? Yeah, it's wonderful. We're very excited to be able to provide this for our uh, employees. You know, we have about 35,000 employees across 23 states. You guys have a wonderful online program so people can get a business degree if they, if they so choose or any other degree for that matter. But uh, we're thrilled to be able to offer a really high quality educational opportunity basically for free to our employees. And this was announced, I believe, internally about two weeks ago, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. That's right. And I learned just recently we've had over 700 of the UP employees express interest. I mean, I'm sure you're thrilled about that. But uh, maybe you could tell us about some of the feedback that you've had from some of the UP employees. Yeah, you know, we, we uh, have something internal called UP Online. So we make big announcements go out on UP Online. And as soon as that went live, all of us, that were involved started getting emails from employees about how excited they were, people who either wanted to get an MBA or maybe they d had never had an opportunity to finish an undergraduate degree. Mm -hmm. But just earlier this week, I had a young man in our um, critical call dispatching center send me an email that just said, I can't thank you and everybody who was involved in this enough. This is going to be an opportunity for me to go get my emergency management degree. I've already been accepted at UNO. So wow. you guys are doing a great job too because you're well, it's concierge you're, service. You're getting those people through very quickly. Well, we have a great enrollment management team mm -hmm. and I'm incredibly proud of uh, of all of their hard work. So, you know, I was just looking at some of the statistics and and I don't know how much of them you're you've been monitoring, but it's about 50% undergrad, 50% grad mm -hmm. uh, interest levels, uh, most for the fall uh, semester, and almost all for uh, online or remote uh, courses. Very few are interested in sitting in a classroom or, or having a, you know, what I would call a hands-on experience. Mm -hmm. uh, interestingly, about half for in the College of Business about another quarter on top of that are in IS&T, cybersecurity, and, mm -hmm. and things of that nature. And then the other quarter are just all over. Everything from music to arts to journalism to creative writing to, you know, math, English, uh, et cetera. It's really been uh, a very interesting spectrum of, uh, of individuals. One of the things I'm proud of is that we really don't prescribe uh, a degree outcome for people. Mm -hmm. We just say, if it's interesting to you and it furthers your education, we're supportive of that. Um, and I, I think it's exciting that we have some people who want to do music or creative writing. I wish I were a creative writer myself. Well, I think through your hard work, you've created a fabulous program. And uh, I just want to take an opportunity to thank you, uh, to thank Lance Fritz, uh, chief executive of UP. Because, you know, when uh, Lance was interested intimately involved in the creation of Blueprint Nebraska. Right. And uh, as part of that process, we were very involved together uh, on trying to answer the question of what could be done uh, to maintain and grow the workforce uh, here in Nebraska for our local companies. And I'm really proud that UNO can partner with Union Pacific to, uh, to do this and to hopefully uh, incite and inspire others uh, in the community to develop similar relationships. I hope so. I, I think it's going to be a phenomenal recruiting tool for us. If, if we're on campus anywhere or as we're hiring um, for positions that don't necessarily require a degree, for us to be able to say, come to Omaha, join Union Pacific, 
You can get your master's degree mm -hmm. for free at this wonderful institution, or you can get an undergraduate degree. And if your career stays at Union Pacific, that's wonderful. If it takes you in another direction with your music or creative writing sure. degree, that's great too. Well, I'm sure you appreciate the musicians and the creative writers I uh, do. At, at UP. Well, Beth, I want to just thank you personally. It's been a great journey so far, but the best is yet to come. Yeah, we're very excited. And thank you so much for the partnership. It's, it was your kernel of an idea, and I like to think that we worked with Sasha and yourself and really came up with something special. It is really special. Thanks for being with us today, and thank you for being with us today on this very special MAV Minute.